New at 5 tonight, we want you to take a close look at this picture right here. D.C. police say this man is responsible for destroying posters of Vice President Kamala Harris and then spray painting offensive words outside of a popular bar and a bus stop in Logan Circle. Yeah, Melissa Kim spoke to one of the owners of the Little Gay Pub just a couple of hours ago. She joins us now live from where all this vandalism took place. Melissa, what did they tell you? Yeah, hey there, guys. Well, you can still see some of the graffiti here, some of the remnants of it here at the bus stop outside the Little Gay Pub on P Street Northwest. One of the owners that I spoke to tells me that some of his patrons and neighbors actually cleaned it up over the weekend. So he's absolutely feeling the love and support from this community. Tonight, Dito Sevilla says it's not the first time he's had to replace these posters of Vice President and Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris. On September 11th, someone defaced them. It's D.C., baby, you know, politics is our life. So when it happened again over the weekend, he decided to call police. It felt a little stranger than just a little, you know, vandalism. D.C. police say just before 8.30 on Saturday morning, this man who was captured on surveillance cameras was seen damaging posters and spray painting the words, Harris equals Hitler and Trump is greater than Hitler on the bus stop right outside the pub. Sevilla says that message is part of what prompted him to alert the authorities. We believe in, you know, political discourse. This is, you know, it's a free country. You have the free speech. First of it's great, um, but when you start writing, you know, Harris is equal to Hitler and you start, you know, making, you know, more, you know, violent rhetoric, it reminds me of, you know, the problems we're having across the country. It really doesn't belong in a, in a place like this. But in the meantime, he's encouraged because of his patrons and neighbors who spent hours trying to scrub the hateful words off of the bus stop. Well, it just reminds you for every bad actor, there's hundreds of people that support and love us and, you know, love the community they're in. He says he doesn't want the man who did this to go to jail, but... But it's certainly annoying, it's expensive, and it can be exhausting. And his message to that man? Keep doing what you're doing, and we'll keep doing what we're doing. Because you know what? Michelle Obama said it. When you go low, we'll go high. Now, I did reach out to D.C. police this afternoon. They got back to me about an hour ago and didn't have any updates, but there is a $1,000 reward leading to any information uh, leading to an arrest. In the meantime, though, Dito says that it's okay if you don't agree with their politics. Just put up your own sign. Don't come here and deface theirs. We're live at the Little Gate Pub in Northwest D.C. I'm Melissa Kim at WSA 9. Yeah, good point there. And they have a pretty clear picture and video of the suspect here, so hopefully they find him soon. Melissa, thank you.